Welcome Cancer to your weekly love read. My name is Rosa and you're tuning in to Cancer Moon Oracles. We're going to dive on in, in now and get started Cancer. We're just going to see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Uh, we, we will take a look at the messages that are coming through and then we will take a look at your feelings towards this person or the current situation and then we will take a look at your person's feelings towards you and all the current situation cancer so whoever you're thinking of and dealing with in love this week is who we are reading for let's dive on in now cancer don't forget to show your support by liking sharing subscribing dropping your comments in the comment section below uh, equally you can take advantage of the super thanks button as well just note cancer in any way which way you choose to support me um I am super, super grateful. So thank you, Cancer. Okay, first card coming through is the Seven of Cups reversed. Okay, Seven of Cups reversed. Page of Swords. Okay, Page of Swords. You could be connecting to an air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We've got the Eight of Swords reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Oops. Page of Cups reversed. You could be connecting to another Earth sign here. Uh, sorry, another another Water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or an Earth sign here. And one more card. Three of Wands reversed. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Two of Cups reversed, Cancer. Okay, a few reversals. That's okay. No biggie. Six of Swords, King of Pentacles. Strong Earth energy coming through. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you're connecting to someone who may be putting their career above the connection. This person is more interested in their material world, how they appear. I'm getting like a strong superficiality coming through with the person who you're connecting to. Yes, you may be very attracted to this person. Um, they might look good, smell good. They might be able to provide you with financial security. But uh, I'm getting the sense that this person is not on the same page as you, Cancer, okay? They're not on the same page as you. I feel like it's a struggle with the Six of Swords here. I feel like this connection, there's something about this connection, it just feels like it's a struggle, it, like this connection isn't flowing, Right now, you might not be on talking terms with this person. There may have been a fallout or a clear separation here. Cancer. Right now, I don't feel like the connection's going anywhere. We've got the three of wands in reverse. You may feel like you've given up. You've given up on this person. You're sick and tired of waiting. Um, maybe you're sick and tired of waiting to see where it goes, if it's going to progress, if it's going to lead into anything more serious here. I do feel this week, Cancer, that I'm getting the energy that you're feeling unsettled, possibly ungrounded with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You may be feeling disappointed or let down, but I do feel that your rose-coloured glasses are coming off this week. Okay, and I say that because you've got the Seven of Cups reversed and the Page of Cups reversed. And when I see these two cards reversed, it's like it's, it's screaming something about illusions. Okay, you are under some kind of an illusion. Perhaps you, maybe the illusion here, Cancer, was this was more one-sided. Maybe you had stronger feelings for this person than they did for you. Okay, that's just an example, right? Yeah, I can see that you're very confused with the Page of Swords. You may feel that communication between this person is a bit of a struggle right now. Um, I'm, I'm seeing the Page of Swords as a difficulty in communication, talking to this person. Maybe you're having a hard time talking to this person. I'm seeing a lot of confusion. I'm seeing a lot of um, a lack of clarity about this connection. 
Yeah, I see with the Eight of Swords here that you don't want to stay stuck in a situation like this. Okay, you may be freeing yourself uh, from the situation or the relationship, Cancer. Okay, I see you wanting to free yourself. Because the Eight of Swords is a card of limitation, but it is in the reverse. So let's let's get some clarity, shall we? Maybe you're waiting to hear from this person, Cancer, but I don't feel you will um, hear from this person. I see an insecurity coming in here because there is a lack of clarity. Okay, I do feel with the Queen of Pentacles reverse that maybe on some level, Cancer, you feel that you have overgiven to this person. But I see you pulling back now. So let's clarify this Seven of Cups. Spirit, Angels and Guides, what's this Seven of Cups about? Will a fortune reversed? So I feel, Cancer, that you're starting to recognize that this connection isn't going anywhere fast. Okay. Let's clarify this Page of Swords for our Cancers. We have the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles and the Lovers. It's really hard for you to detach from this person because you feel a strong connection to them with the lovers here. You could be connecting to a Gemini. For others of you, you may be feeling confused because there might be someone else in the picture determined by the lovers here, two people. The lovers does represent choices, so you may feel that someone has a choice to make or a choice between two lovers. But what you're finding hard to let go of here is that you've put a lot of energy, time and effort. You're still willing to work on this, but it's a little bit hard when the other person isn't willing to show you equal investment. Okay. Can we clarify this Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, look at this. Six of Pentacles reverse. It's one-sided. I feel that you've been giving more to this person than they were giving to you. I feel like you were you were more emotionally invested than this person was or you were just giving to this relationship more than they were. So someone was a taker, someone was a giver here, Cancer. Let's take a look at this Page of Cups reverse. You could have been dealing with someone who is emotionally unavailable as well. Yeah, look at this, the full in reverse, um, five of pentacles reversed. I feel that someone is returning here or someone wants to return here, Cancer. I feel that you know this person represented by the full in reverse. Okay, this is not anybody new. This is someone that you've been possibly dealing with for quite some time. Someone that is unable to give you what you truly need from this connection. I feel like this is someone who makes you feel like you're less than, um, like you're not good enough. This is someone who makes you feel like you're always begging for their affection or you're just you're constantly trying to get something from them. But I feel that's where the rose tinted glasses are coming off now. Let's take a look at this three of wands reversed page of wands. Yeah, I really do feel like it's time to think of yourself. It's time to put yourself first and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, determined by the Page of Wands, okay? You could ultimately be connecting to a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone younger than you. You're sick and tired of waiting for this person, I feel, Cancer. Okay, so let's move along and... Um, you could also be getting a message from this person as well this week, especially if uh, 
you haven't been on talking terms here. But again, I don't feel like it's anything to get too excited about cancer because we've got three pages in this spread and I feel like it might just be a quick flick of the text message like, hi, what's up? You know, it's, it's, it's not really anything in my eyes to get excited about. But maybe just enough to keep you there. Maybe just enough to keep you thinking that it could generate into something else so let's take a look at a closer look at your feelings towards this person or this situation this week cancer spirit angels and guides what messages do you have in regards to our cancer's feelings towards this person okay page of wands yeah you're feeling like you need to put yourself first you need to go what the hell like to hell with it, you know, I'm throwing all caution to the wind and I'm doing what's best for me. I see the page of wands as an energy of someone that needs to put themselves first. Like it's a, it's kind of like a selfish energy, but um, but in a positive direction, right? You might also get excited to hear from this person, especially if you haven't heard from them. I see a little bit of an excitement coming through for you, sort of, yay, I finally got to hear from them. I, they, they responded to my message or whatever that is. Ten of Pentacles. You may feel cancer that this person, you belong to this person. I do see here that you would ultimately like something more solid here with this person. You would like to build... Uh, something serious here with this person, like a family, a future. Oops, okay, I'll take that card. King of Cups. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What are we going to do with you, hey? What are we going to do with you? You have strong feelings for this person. But I do get with the King of Cups very strong Piscean energy uh, determined by this fish necklace that is um, sitting around this king's neck. You know, Pisces, what do we know of our Pisces? Um, they tend to live in that fantasy world. So, yeah, I feel that you are in this fantasy-like state when it comes to this person. Okay, you could be, it's kind of like you're feeling into the potential of this connection, but it's not exactly the reality, right? At the bottom of the deck, five of cups. See, in this five of cups, I see a hole in the ground and this is the void that you're feeling. You feel like this person is the missing piece to your life. You feel lost without them, sad without them. You feel a hole um, when they're not in your life, when they're not communicating to you or talking to you or interacting with you here. You do want their attention, six of wands, or you possibly could be thinking about giving this person attention. Okay, let's take a look at how this person feels towards you. Spirit, angels and guides, can you tell us more about how Cancer's person, the person that Cancer is dealing with this week, how they feel towards Cancer and or the situation? They're quiet, aren't they? Spirit, angels and guides, what messages do you have? Here we go. The moon. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this person really does suppress their true feelings here, don't they? They're not really saying too much. I feel like this person is very, very quiet. But when it comes to their feelings and their emotions, they do not let you in. 
They do not let you in. You could be connecting to another Cancer here or a Pisces, determined by the moon. Six of Wands. That's interesting. So you are looking for this person's attention, but they're looking for your attention too. Cancer. Six of Wands. This person needs your validation. They're constantly, oh, look at this, King of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person feels like they want some validation or attention from you this week, Cancer. The King of Wands uh, tells me here that this person could be coming in this week. Uh, very charming, very smooth. This is a smooth talker. Um, very suave, very good looking. Um, possibly flirtatious here. Because they're, they're needing something from you this week. But again, there's that entrepreneurial energy. The King of Wands, this is an entrepreneurial energy. And remember that King of Pentacles there? So this is someone who is really putting uh, their purpose or their career above this connection. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Ultimately, you provide emotional comfort and support and stability. It could be here that this person is coming in this week, Cancer, looking for some emotional support from you. Look at this, Two of Cups. You know, they, they, they feel that loyalty from you. Like you're this loyal person to them. They know you're always there uh, for when they need you. But we can't ignore underneath that there's a holding back four of pentacles. But still yet this person holds back emotionally. Okay, so let's clarify this king of wands, shall we? Spirit, angels and guides, can we get some clarity? Yeah, look at this, knight of pentacles in reverse. So this person isn't looking for anything uh, permanent or serious or long term. Okay, I feel like they're just coming in sort of temporarily. Again, it's for the comfort that you provide. Let's clarify this moon, spirit, angels and gods. Can you tell us, oh, too many cards. Can you tell us more about this moon energy? Yeah, four of cups. This person may be depressed. They may be feeling down. They may be feeling depressed. They may be feeling lonely. There may be certain fears coming up to the surface for this person. So who do they think of? They think of their cancer. They think of their cancer. They're coming in for your um, emotional support here, Cancer. Okay, again here, this person keeps their feelings under lock and key. You know, they're not letting, they just can't give you what you need. And it's because they're putting their purpose, their passions uh, before this connection. At the bottom of the deck, look at this. We've got the Two of Wands. Okay. So this person may be at some kind of a crossroad in their life. They may be at a point or a position where they need to make some kind of a decision. And you may be able to assist them with this. Cancer. So there's your messages, Cancer. Hopefully that was helpful in some way. And until next time, take care, guys.